Taiwan is making global headlines as it grapples with a surge in local COVID cases. There's been widespread reporting on what went wrong in Taiwan, which for the better part of a year was lauded as a success story of COVID containment. According to the BBC, Bloomberg and CNN, Taiwan's main downfall was complacency. Let's hear what they're saying. The problem when you have a nation of 23 million people that has been largely immune from the worst effects of the pandemic, now that you have this outbreak and case numbers expected to keep going up every single day because there was not widespread social distancing, people had that complacency. Touted as a COVID success story, Taiwan now faces its worst local outbreak so far. CNN's Will Ripley says Taiwan let down its guard. A Bloomberg report also blames complacency as a cause of its COVID crisis. Taiwan has seen a steadily rising number of cases over the past week, from the low single digits a week ago to 333 as of Monday. The Bloomberg piece questions Taiwan's decision to shorten airline crew quarantine to three days. It says that prior to the outbreak, Taiwan had close to zero vaccination and too little testing because containment had seemed so effective. It says there was no monitoring of high-risk groups such as adult entertainment workers, who then became the locus of an outbreak. Former Vice President Chen Jianren spoke to BBC, saying Japan too had experienced a virus outbreak in its adult entertainment industry. Failing to take a lesson from Japan, Taiwan found itself with a cluster at the Wanhua Tea Parlors, Chen said. He said many people who tested positive were unwilling to admit they had been to Wanhua, making contact tracing more difficult. It just reminds us that even when a very small proportion of the population breaks the rules, it will lead to leakages, he said. At the beginning of the pandemic, a staff member was infected at a Kaohsiung nightclub. That put everyone on high alert, and we were all on tenterhooks for a period of time. But then the epidemic seemed to calm down, so people stopped thinking about the risks. Over these next two or three weeks, we should all try to reduce our social interactions and to avoid gatherings, wear a mask properly. My belief is that in another two to three weeks, we'll be able to bring down the number of infections to the double digits. Physician Ling Jingyi called on the public to keep masks on and to limit person-to-person -person contact. Once domestic COVID vaccines are available, she says, Taiwan will be able to snap the chain of transmission.